In 2014, the United Nations Development Programme, the United Nations Red Programme, in coordination with the Forestry Financing Fund of the Ministry of Environment and Energy of Costa Rica, the National Registry, the National Geographic Institute, and the National Centre for High Technology, designed a land use change monitoring system for productive landscapes of Costa Rica. The system identifies every year if a farm invades natural habitat, if there are any breaches to the forestry legislation within that farm, or if it keeps healthy protection zones and grows vegetation cover as a good practice. The system is based on four operational principles. First, the annual frequency. Every year, images of productive landscapes in Costa Rica suffering from agricultural expansion into natural habitat are processed. The result is an image that shows polygons of the area where a potential environmental infringement or an increase in vegetation cover has been identified during that year. The second principle is the temporal and spatial delimitation of natural regeneration or environmental infringements. The monitoring system processes imagery in order to identify encroachment of farms onto natural habitat, determine if there is natural habitat regeneration on farms, or if there are violations to the forestry law. For example, by measuring the area between riverbeds and the edges of plantations to determine if the distance is smaller than that which is allowed by law. The third principle is the link with land tenancy. The system only processes images of productive landscapes for which there is a layer of information recording land tenancy. This facilitates the establishment payment for ecosystem services schemes within productive landscapes by relating the layers of land use change with the layers of tenancy of specific farms. The fourth principle is that of public dissemination. The layer of land use change generated by this system is published through the National Territorial Information System of the National Geographic Institute. This allows users to link the layer of land use change with other environmental information, which public institutions are obliged to disseminate through this information system. The Land Use Change Monitoring System for Productive Landscapes of Costa Rica is linked to the National Forest Monitoring Systems of FONAFIFO and is being consolidated through gradual stages of growth. It began in 2014 with a preliminary study. During 2015, pineapple and banana spectral signatures are being developed, and new spectral signatures are to be incorporated in the following years, including pasture, palm oil and other crops. Once the spectral signatures for different crops are finalised, the total area under cultivation per crop is recorded as a baseline. This is then monitored annually. Two complementary programmes aim to take advantage of the monitoring system and turn it into a tool for avoiding deforestation. The first is a dialogue with agricultural commodity buyers on how to generate economic incentives to increase vegetation cover in farms. The dialogue will also help identify ways to discourage deforestation through new selective purchasing policies by buyers. The second programme trains public officials so they know how to use the system to either generate economic incentives to increase vegetation cover in farms or how to prosecute environmental violations identified through the system. Once the monitoring system is final, Costa Rica will obtain annual information on land use change, total crop areas and total regeneration within farms. This will improve land use management and the country's image as a responsible agricultural commodities exporter.